<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We never really need an excuse to drink. But since the July 4th Independence Day is tomorrow, we thought we'd celebrate with a cold beer. Please welcome back to the show Rashawn's best friend and beer educator, Jen Price of the Atlanta Beer Boutique. Good morning. Good morning. I'm always happy to see you. I am always happy You're to be here. You're one of my favorite guests Thank because you. you bring beer. I try to bring a little okay. happiness. Yeah. <laughs> so before we start tasting, what are some <laughs> tips to go by when drinking or serving beer? Okay, first we'll start with temperature. Mm. The first thing you want to do is make sure the beer is served at the appropriate temperature. Some folks don't know that certain beers like pale lagers and ale should be served super cold. Other beers like stouts and porters can be served at a warmer mm. temperature. Yep. Mm. Um, and then secondly, you want to always pour if you can, into the appropriate glass. Mm -hmm. We have different glasses here today because different glasses are um, designed to promote different aspects of the beer. Yes. Color, the clarity, and even some of the aromas. Um, thirdly, you always want to make sure you pour it into the glass and not enjoy it from the can or the bottle. And that's because you want to wake up the beer. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gets it going, kind of yeah. gets the effervescence kinda going. Kind of opens up all the Absolutely. bouquets. Absolutely, kind of like with wine. wine yeah. You can think of it in the same way. And then you also want to make sure, last but certainly not least, mm -hmm. okay, this is a very important one. Okay, okay. And that is that there is foam on the beer. Mm -hmm. I know at bars, sometimes you go and they pour it and it's really it's, still yeah. and it comes back to you and there's no foam there. Well, yeah. foam is an important part of the process because it helps to release volatile compounds, the aroma, so that when you're drinking, you're smelling, and it's kind of like a dual sensory experience. Mm. So, I know I take it kind of deep with beer, but, but I really, I'm serious thing. about that's this. That's a good thing because people want to know because a lot of people, Absolutely. Uh, you know, the uh, general consumer, they call it the head. Absolutely. The head of the beer. Absolutely. Uh, that delicious foaminess. I like to have a nice little foam you mustache. You should have a little mustache. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Got milk. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> but this has got beer. Okay. Awesome. So remember to tell the people to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate during the summer when you're drinking. Absolutely. Because, you know, because you can get dehydrated when you're drinking in the in the sun. So please make sure you hydrate. Yeah. We'll and that, I'm glad we're starting with this first beer. This is Alani, which is actually a lower alcohol beer. Okay. Um, you don't it's like only this. for, well, it's good to I'm start with. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to start. It was only 4.7%. It's a really good pool beer. And it's mm -hmm. a rosé ale. So this is a hybrid style, very new to the beer industry. And we would pair it with something like a salad, something really light. Um, it is a blend between a beer and a wine. Yeah, it it's not too sweet rose. on the end. Absolutely yeah. not. Very light and effervescent. Very refreshing. Yes. OK. So what do we have next? The next one is a sour, a Berliner Weiss, or Ooh. Weiss as it's pronounced. And this is a German style beer, also really pretty and pale. Um, but this one has cherries, blueberries, and vanilla, kind of like a red, white, and blue beer, if you will. Is this related um, to the Hefeweizen? Um, it's a German beer, so it is kind of related to it. It's a distant cousin, okay. we'll call it. <laughs> um, but it's going to be super tart. And with super tart beers, you want to pair it with something sort of earthy. So we did it with, like, Havarti cheese. Like Do you like that? I like that. It's a really interesting style of beer, kind of new to... Um, kind of regenerate it into the market. It's an old style, but people are creating it again. That's delicious. That's really good. That's by Pontoon Brewing, and they're up north in um, Sandy Springs area. Ooh. The third beer that we have is called Mexican Empire. This is a Vienna lager. Oh, okay. Now, lagers are making a big comeback, and they especially are. in Georgia, because there's one brewery called Arches that brews them in Hapeville. They're one of the only breweries in the south that brews them. Lagers are kind of hard to brew in the south because of the conditions that you need. It has to be really cold and uh, creates a longer brewing time. But this is a good one that you would do with like Mexican food, barbecue. It's kind of a, a palate cleansing, very even kill beer. It can go with a lot of different things. So yeah. for barbecue, it's a good pairing. We did some um, chicken, barbecue chicken quesadillas today. Ooh, to I'm going to sample that, that too. But this yeah. is really good. It reminds me of like a honey brown yes. or like a nice little... Um, Absolutely. Yeah, an amber. It nice does. Amber it has bockery. a little nuttiness yeah. and a little sort of um, earthiness to it. Malty is sort of another characteristic okay, of that beer. Cleanse my palate a little bit. You can cleanse it with some food, a good idea. <laughs> so this is a chicken and cheese quesadilla. Mm. As you can see, something spicy could kind of bounce off of something mm -hmm, sweet mm -hmm. and malty, like that beer. Oh. Yeah, you like that? Okay, let's yeah. go to number four. Okay, so this one we're getting into high ABV territory, 7.2%. Drafty Kilp, it's a scotch ale. Mm. And so just smell that. You're going to get 
uh, aromas and notes of like roasty coffee. Mm. Um, this is one of those really darker beers that can be served at a warmer temperature, like I said earlier. Um, we would pair that with something like lamb mm. or beef. It's like a something. light stout. Um, it it yeah. is. It yeah. reminds you of a stout. Yeah. It reminds you of a porter, but it's a totally different style altogether. All right, so let's try it. Last but not least. Last but not least, Console Brewing. This is Atlanta's second black-owned brewery, and they did this beautiful IPA called Sweet Auburn. They named their beers after Atlanta landmarks, which I love. Ooh. And this one is an India Pale Ale, so it's going to be hoppy. It's going to give you a bite, and it may be a little bit punchy. It's not overly hoppy, though. It's not. They use ginger. They use plums and a lemon you can taste grass. It. You can taste oh, that yes. ginger. Yes. Well, hi. Oh, well, I'm you happy you're here because yes. I have extra glasses. Yes. Yes. Well, girl, let me taste a little bit. I'll get my four for two last time. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. 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 this thing off right. This so is yeah. amazing. What should I try first, Jen? Um, I think you're going to like that rosé ale. Okay, so I really here. do. What is rosé ale? It is a blend, actually, between a rosé. It's a hybrid of rosé beer. I mean, it's rosé wine okay. and just a regular beer. I and they like kind that. of blend with um, the grapes and the musk and create this hybrid kind of style beer. I feel like yeah. grapes is, grapes so is part of my diet. It is? Well, let's try this one because <laughs> I think you'll so like this good. one. Well, you guys taste. And I know that, Jen, you are just amazing every time you come. Thank you for being with us today. Ooh, and happy 4th mm. of July and happy beer tasting. Yes. For more beer tips, you can follow her at atlantabeerboutique.com. And we'll be right back. This uh -uh. is real. I know it is. Mm -hmm. This, which one is it's that? It's too good.